Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Thank you for participating on the online training course, strengthening the capacity of African countries to design and implement policies that promote the nexus between peace, security and development for an accelerated implementation of the Sustainable Development Goals. Instead of delivering traditional remarks, I decided to use these three minutes to raise some critical issues that are important to set up the right mindset for this online, online training course. We all know that active conflict, instability, and conflict incidents show a clear poor trend across the continent over the past five years. According to one database, in 2019, there were 27 active conflicts in 19 countries in Africa and around 9,000 known fatalities as a result of those conflicts. The African Union Silence, Silence the Guns program has been extended from 2020 to 2013, 10 years more, because the targets have not been met. Guns have not been silenced, on the opposite. And COVID-19 has exacerbated instability in Africa. We need to take the lessons. No peace, no development. No development, no peace. But in most of the situations, conflict arise because inclusive development has not been delivered. What has been missing in the African policy making that has prevented some countries to deliver durable peace? I believe this is the question. Conflicts have many different causes, drivers, and triggers. The 2021 uh, report of the Secretary General on promotion of durable peace examined the challenges of prevention and sustaining peace in Africa from a perspective that is often overlooked, namely the role of weak or failed public service planning and delivery as a source of instability and potential driver or trigger of conflict. We need to recognize that there are external factors. Africa is a geopolitical arena for external interest competition over Africa's natural resources. Also, climate change has been pushing entire populations to below poverty lines and conflict over scarce resources, land, water, you name it. But I would like to focus on the internal factors, and the one in particular, the lack of social services and public goods, the lack of planning process and service delivery that do not promote inclusion of all segments of the population, corruption in service delivery, and service delivered by non-state armed groups and criminal groups. Maybe, these internal factors indicate the shrinking of some African states and their lack of capacity to occupy the territory with education, health, water, electricity, leaving fertile ground to the emergence of terrorist activity and instability. If in the 21st century, we Africans still face weak states, we need to ask again, what has been missing in the African policy making that has prevented some African countries to deliver durable peace? And I would like at this stage to bring an important notion that I have been presenting in the past 10 years. And I did it again last week in the General Assembly informal consultations of the Secretary General report, Our Common Agenda. Sustainable development in Africa requires 
a change in paradigm. A long needed shift that has still not happened. And COVID-19 is giving us the opportunity, a shift from managing poverty based on external finance to manage development based on domestic resource mobilization. This is clearly the call of Agenda 2063 and Agenda 2030. Managing poverty and managing development are two different challenges. Allow me to say are two different animals. Have African policy making been managing poverty or development? Moving from managing poverty to manage development requires to incorporate the nexus approach, peace, security, and development, and build strong states and strong institutions. A new narrative is required that places the focus on people-centered policies based on inclusive and transparent institutions and policy frameworks that empower Africa to own its development path from managing poverty to manage development. I wish you a fruitful online course. Please be engaged. Thank you very much.